Okay, and we are live. Welcome back to the Color Hub, guys. It's been a long time. This is Michelle and Shannon. And, and Laurel. 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 <laughs> you got a box? Good girl. Uh, Good girl. Yeah. She's uh, running around with a box of uh, bran muffin mix. Blueberry bran muffin. Blueberry yeah. bran muffin mix. Today, can you, is this in... You right here. Yep, yep, that's right. Okay. Today we are gonna paint this cute little pumpkin. This is uh my friend Hello. Diane's little pumpkin that we are painting. Yep. I'm just okay. gonna straighten okay. out because we're okay. So show me how it's gotta be. Nope. You can keep talking on this. Oh, okay. Yep. And um it he was all by himself. Yeah. So Shanny and Daddy yesterday, Russ, decided that he needed a friend. So we added a little mouse and then last night I thought well that mouse was a little alone so I added this mouse pushing the pumpkin so that's what we are going to paint today so this one right here is the one that we are going to paint today um, but I'm just gonna take care of the baby really quick and, and then the baby needs changing <laughs> oh, she's a little odorific um, so this I framed this morning and this one and the one that we are painting today, it will be available after the show for $30 each, um, plus whatever shipping if you need shipping. So just to let you know, and I am a little nervous cause we haven't done this in quite some time. <laughs> Whew, okay. Um, we're not really ready to paint so yet. why don't you talk about what materials you used on the one from last night? Okay, so the one from yesterday, I'm using, um, I've had this set for a while. I've got quite a few of these sets. Um, they're Prima Marketing sets. Um, I'm using the Pastel Dreams, and I can't remember what the other set is that I'm using. I don't know if it's the Tropical or the... I don't know what set this is, honestly, and I don't know where the box is. It's put away upstairs somewhere. But um, these are the two sets that we're going to be using. And um, they're really nice because they've got, um, they're just fun to, to use. I like little palettes. And um, they've got, they're, they're opaque. They've got white in with the mixes. Um, they're just like a novel, novelty set of paint. Um, they never give you the um, pigment number, so I don't exactly know what is in each pan of paint, but they're just adorable to paint with. Um, but if you, uh, you probably don't have these sets of paints, um, any paint will do. Whatever you have is fine. I mixed up similar colors with just, um, for the green, I used um, my, oh, Brian, don't fade me now. I used my ultramarine blue, and I used a little sap green, and I made it up very light for the greens. And I, I think I added a little yellow in with that. And then for the pumpkiny oranges, I did some um, like um, cad red and some yellow ochres or some cad yellow, whatever you have. If you have cad yellow or a lemon yellow, that's this is lemon. That's a cad yellow, and that's a cad like a medium red probably. That's a cad light red. So if you have anything like that. Those are fine. Just come as close as you can with a lot of water because this is going to be um, highly saturated and I just let the water move around. And then we're, we're going to just um, go into each segment and put the highlights right in there or the dark colors and then we're going to pull out the highlights. So it's really a very quick painting. And for the mouse, we're just going to use a little bit of sepia brown or whatever color darker brown you've got with maybe just a tad bit of yellow ochre, a lot of water, a little bit of uh, saturated red for his ears, and that's about it. And then I did a little splashing. 
splattering that Shannon loves because it got everywhere. Like, everywhere. Oh, I don't know. That one got everywhere, too? No, I mean everywhere all over the table. Oh, boy. So, I don't know how these artists... I watch artists. You're, you're a magician at splattering, by I way. am a magician. I get it everywhere. I don't know how other artists do it. You could probably take a dry brush and splatter across the table. I could. I probably could. <laughs> I got it everywhere. On my phone... Like oh everywhere. Gosh. Did you um, tell people what paper you're using? I am using, this is a cool paper. And if you haven't noticed, it is a really little pad. So it, sometimes it's fun to do just little things. Yeah, sometimes in a, sometimes if you get in a rut or you feel like you're, you know, like a, a block, it's fun to just try something different, even just a, a different pad of paper, a different brush, a little different watercolor um, palette is, is fun to try or try a different medium. Try, uh, uh <laughs> no, um, I'm not a fan of acrylics. That's why Shannon keeps piping on acrylics. Um, <laughs> try some, uh, colored pencils or, um, pastels or something like that. Just do a little, something a little bit different. I'm, I'm really getting into mixed media which is where you do um, a couple of different medias together. Like um, I love watercolor and um, pastels. You do a lot of pastels and colored pencils together. It's just a lot of fun to put everything together. And I've really got to get on the ball and get going on some oils. I haven't done them in ages because when my mom was li living with us for several months from um, March to August, it, I could not have oils out, so I just got out of the habit. But today we're going to be using Fluid 100. This is a 100% cotton block, so it, that means that it's um, glued on all four sides, and there's just a tiny little space for, i got to find out where, where it is, just this tiny little space right here. Actually, it must be glued on just three sides. Oh. Well, this is a two-sided block. I didn't realize that. Because it's glued down, so it's an easy block. I didn't realize that. An easy block means it's just glued on two sides. Mm -hmm. And it's easier to get off because it's um, open on two sides. Mm -hmm. So you want to be careful with an easy block uh, not to get paint seeping down on these two sides. Um, because it'll go on to your next sheet. But I didn't realize that it was an easy block because I was having a hard time getting these off. So what you would do is would you insert a butter knife in here when you're done. When you're done, don't do it now. And then you just easily lift it up, go around it, and you get that pad of paper off. Very cool. Um, yeah, because you have other blocks. They're like larger pads, and you, they come with like a little special tool just to lift it, right? Sometimes, um, here's one tool that came with one of my blocks. And I actually, I love this. I use it for most of my tool, most of my blocks now. Mm. It's really just fun. This came with, uh, I want to say my Turner one. I can't remember which, which, uh, block this came with, but I love Yay! it. Um, what about that other sheet that's under, like, what's the oh! paper that's underneath that? This is the coolest paper, guys. You've got to see this. This paper is 100% cotton paper. It's handmade paper. Which you know how much I love handmade paper. <laughs> it's got the deckled edges, which means it's just, um, it's not, like, it's not cut. It's, it's not left, straight. It's left. Well, I'm going to leave it like that. But it's got, um dried flowers made into the paper, woven into the paper when they molded it. So it's beautiful. And I've done a waterfall. And what else did I do on this? I've done a couple. You did a cardinal, didn't you? I did a cardinal mm -hmm. and a waterfall on this. And mm -hmm. it's just lovely when it's done. Um, and those two are in a shop in Ontario called Sarah's Country Barn. So Sarah's Country Barn is now carrying some of our um, paintings. 
Shannon's books, mm -hmm. our, some of our journals, mm -hmm. and some of our the paper posters. Posters, yep. <clears throat> so um, please visit her. She's got, oh, it's a beautiful shop. It's on Ridge Road in Ontario. It's right in town. And um, it's just lovely. It's got, oh, it's just, it's just lovely. You've got to visit it. So I think it's time that we can get started here. I'm going to just put this yep, here. It to, is 1101. You've listened to me talk for a while. No. <laughs> so today we're going to use, um, like I said, we're going to use these Prima colors that I have. And I went through and picked out what colors I kind of want to use to mix. So I'm going to use the green. I don't know what colors they really are. And they come up with funky names like mm -hmm. bumblebee and <laughs> you know, lemonade and citrus. So they're really like not normal names like, um, you know, like ultramarine, that sort of thing. Not, like not green. common yeah. names. <laughs> so I'm going to use this, this color that looks like an olive green. And um, a color that looks somewhat like, uh, I can't think of the name right now. Mm -hmm. It's like an ink. Um, and I can't think of the name. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to use those two for our shadow colors. So I put those together for our shadow colors. It's going to look kind of like this. And I'm going to use the reddish. It's kind of like a crimson a deep crimson and our other red for um, the pumpkin seams like right along the seams and we're going to use our what they call citrus put the two reds together in the citrus and we're going to come up with the nice orange for the pumpkin and pretty much those are the colors that we're going to be using and then, like I said, if you've got ultramarine, a sap green, a cad yellow, um, a medium yellow, lemon yellow, or a, a cad red, any of those colors would work fine for these paintings. In um, maybe a sepia for the mouse. And last resort, if you <clears throat> don't happen to have any of them, if you have just like a very, very basic set, just make up your own thing. I mean, it is your your own piece. You can make up your own colors and, well, you know. Yeah, that's they, what I was just yeah. saying. And then you could use um, colored pencils if you want to use colored pencils. Just follow along with whatever you have. And today I'm going to be using. Um, this is a new set I just got yesterday. Um, so I haven't I haven't had a lot of practice with them. This will just be the second painting I've used. These are a new Mimic Kalinske set I got. So these are actually um, mimicking, so they're um, fake fur, uh, the Kalinske uh, sable. So these, you can get at Jerry's Artorama or on Amazon, but I would suggest getting them at Jerry's Artorama. They're a whole lot cheaper. Hmm. Um, and they come to a wonderful tip. I don't know if you can see the beautiful tip that they come to. Yeah, it actually shows up pretty pretty good does it, see it. It's, yeah. they're just wonderful to paint with and these are um of course my favorites <laughs> these are the mimics um the mimic squirrels the the creative mark mimic squirrels that i love so um these mimic a squirrel hair <laughs> but we're going to try these i'm probably going to be using a six and an eight so this is your six round and this is the eight round and I might be using the 14 to just water around what I need mm -hmm. to do the larger watering. All right. So what we're going to do first, I've got a, a big pot of water for like washing out the brush, the dirty water. Then I've got a smaller pot for clean water for when I want clean, fresh water to go into the paints to put onto the pad of paper for when I want a nice, fresh Boy, can I talk today? Can you <laughs> yeah, tell I'm a little nervous? Don't, don't have just one bucket of water, um, especially if you start using darker colors um, or staining colors, and then you start trying to rinse in the same bucket and use that to water things. You're going to end up leaving stains on your paper. And it's things just, will start looking muddy. Yeah. You aren't going to get that nice, clean, fresh look of the paint that you really want. Mm -hmm. 
So here I'm just going in and um, watering the pumpkin. I'm just going to water all of him. Try to stay right within the pumpkin. And he was not hard to draw. As you can see, it's just all segments. Mm -hmm. And I just drew individual segments around the stem. So I'm going to put this... Um, this paper soaks in the water a lot. Mm. So you want to make sure that this is nice and wet, but not sopping wet. So I'm going to just put it on nice and heavily right now, and then I'm going to go back through and make sure that it's nice, just nice even layer. Going around the little micey hands. And you can tell when I hold it up, you, you should be able to see a sheen mm -hmm. with the light to see if you've missed any spots. Now what happens if you leave spots, it just gets soaked in and you can't lift it as easily or? Yeah, the paint will just soak into the paper rather than swishing around. You aren't going to be able to move it around as easily. It's not the end of the world because, um, as I have found, contrary to what people have told me in the <laughs> beginning, you can do a lot with watercolor mm -hmm. as opposed to what people have said in the beginning. Like... There's can't no fixing. Fix yep. You can fix just about anything in watercolor. And if you can't, then you go to your colored pencils or you go mm -hmm. to your pastels and you fix it. So not the end of the world. And it's just a piece of paper. Yep. And this pad, by the way, only cost me $7. So, oh, and it's a lot of fun to work on. And it's fun to work on a little piece of paper for, for a change instead of a huge. Yeah, you're not committing yourself to like a three-hour project. You're... Yeah, you know, it's doing fun. something for fun. Yep. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. I don't even know the name of it. It's a, a, it's a reddish color. So this is where you would use your cad red. If you have cad red or whatever color red you've got. And we're going to go very, very watery with this. And I'm going to add um, whatever you have. If, it's a, if, you, if you've got a light orange, if you've got a... Um, cad yellow put that in very very watery and you can see the consistency of that paint it's very watery moving around and then we're going to just go in here very lightly and I actually think I want a little bit more on the orangey side there mm. and we're just going to go in here and just move it around and you see how I went into the water right there and got even more water. So it's just moving around. And you can even mix the paint right up onto your, you don't have to move, uh, mix it on the palette. You can mix it right on the paper if you want to get you the different colors. I apologize if you hear a paper rustling in the background. It's the baby. I put her in her pack and play, and she has a magazine that she likes to look and tear it. And so yeah. she's back there playing with it. <laughs> Grandpa was supposed to watch Lorelei while we videotaped, and he... Yeah, it would be just know, as much time. It's all good. It's all good. So I'm not pleased with him right now. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. This is not for you to worry. <laughs> yeah, okay, boss. You just keep painting. See what I have to put this? <laughs> All right, so we've got a nice little, nice little sheen on that pumpkin right now. And it doesn't all have to be, you know, one perfect looking layer, you know, all no, flat. No, yep. right, because we are going to, um, we are going to put some more layers over top of him. And if you look at a pumpkin, it never has like uniform orange everywhere either. And this pumpkin is the cutest <clears throat> pumpkin on earth. This is my friend Diane's pumpkin. And I took a picture of him the other morning when we were having coffee. She goes, are you going to paint him? I'm going, yes, I am. <laughs> so what I'm
I'm doing now is I'm just taking some clean water. Did she have I'm... the mice around it too? No. Oh, <laughs> we, put, we put the mice around that. The mice were daddy's idea because the pumpkin, when I painted him, when he was kind of, he looked kind of lonely. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a clean napkin, paper towel, tissue, whatever you have, and I'm just going to lift out some of that paint I took out to give him some highlight right there to make it look like he's going in like that and and you don't want puddles like I've got a puddle going right here I don't know if you can see it so I'm just gonna take my dry brush and I lift I'm just gonna lay it down where that puddle is and soak up that paint just like that because if you have a puddle which it probably would look cute on this mm -hmm. but what it'll do is it'll cause a cauliflower effect mm -hmm. But it would look pretty, probably pretty in this painting. <laughs> well, we'll have to do a third one and <clears throat> play with some puddles. Yeah. So now I'm just making it up a thicker batch of paint, a little bit more on the orangey side. I probably should have switched brushes to a smaller brush. But, you know, not. <laughs> and now I'm just going in on all of the segments of the pumpkin. And what you're going to do is just going to go in, give this pumpkin some definition. And don't worry, we're going to glaze over this pumpkin, give him some more color. And you don't want these segments to look uniform either, so we're going to... Yeah, because when you look at the pumpkin, you don't see, like, just a single line. It just, it's the shadow of the indent. Right. And this guy was just so cute. Oh, my <laughs> God. He's just the cutest pumpkin on earth. And he's so mushy. Mushy at the top. Like, he just... Oh, oh so, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, he's not mushy. Pumpkin. Oh, he's not <laughs> mushy like that. He's smushy. <laughs> smushy, <laughs> mushy. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, so what I want to do too is he's got like little. Is it a squash? Squash. Oh, he's like this tall. He's just <laughs> the cutest little thing on earth. And as you can tell, I have very dirty um, palettes. If I know I'm going to use a color, I don't clean them right up. If it's something random, mm -hmm. I'll clean them. But now I'm just stippling in some of that darker orange along with those. Is my head in there? No. Because, yeah, you don't, you know, again, you look at a pumpkin and it's not one, it's not flat and 100% smooth. Sometimes there's like little dimples in it. Yeah. And I think I also want to put a little bit of brown in that. Brown in with him, just to give him a little bit of color. And now it's very important that you, um, each layer you do, you do it a little bit. At, you want to paint it while the painting is still at the same water moisture level. Otherwise you are going to get those cauliflowers. Hmm. And each level I'm going in, I'm going in with less water on my brush and more paint. Now I'm going to take that blue that I said we were going to use. That's like an indigo. That's the word. Indigo. Oh. <laughs> indigo. <laughs> I'm going to mix it with a little bit of that orange that's still on my brush. And I'm going to give some some um, shadow to the pumpkin in the front. Mix it right in with that orange. Give us some shadow. It's funny, without the um, stem being done yet, it looks like a bunt cake on the... Um, oh goodness gracious. Well, we better get it going on It looks like a bunt that. cake on the uh, video. <laughs> we better get going on that stem then, huh? <laughs> I mean, the mice still look happy, so. <laughs> okay. 
I didn't know if that's where you were headed next. I just made a statement. Well, I wasn't going to. Oh, okay. I think yesterday. Yeah, you know what? Did I am wait? going to. Did I yeah. You? Yeah. So you don't want to paint what really close to what, which I just, I just screwed did. up. Yeah. Because it does what? You made me do this. Well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you shall have to paint third. I don't know. <laughs> that's okay. So if that happens, just take your wet brush. Yes. Good teachable moment right there, guys. Don't let your manager screw you up. Fire business her. Manager, I'm not painter. Fire the business manager. I'm going to just... Shannon, you talk while I just... Oh, yes. It'll be very easy to... <laughs> I think Plug you gave me unplugged you. Lorelei, we have, we have, we have a problem. Again. Yep, hang on. It's probably even plugged in the wall. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, so here are the colored flowers I was talking about. Can you guys see this ruffly edge right here? If that happens to you, you can you can fix it. You can fix it. So you can Oops. lose your light. There you go. Thank you. Oh, going around. So what I'm going to do to prevent um, my paint from spreading is I'm going to dry my pumpkin. Because your paint is going to go wherever there's water. And if I dry this, then I'm going to be able to go right over it and glaze. There are certain situations where she doesn't blow dry and it's if she has like a lot of granular, granulation on it. Granular paint. Because um, then it moves it, it's so heavy that the air actually blows it around and changes the effect of it. So, yeah, if I'm working with granular paints, I want that granulation to settle naturally and you want lots of moisture and I got the most adorable set of granular paints they're they're amazing and I'll do a painting for you guys with them actually I did a oh, waterfall I did a waterfall yeah and that's at the that's at the shop yeah it's at the shop for thirty dollars so run over to Sarah's and pick it up we'll pick it up <laughs> <laughs> it's a little five by seven waterfall up there. So the same size as what these ones are. Yeah. It's adorable. They went up last night. So I'm just going to go back over this, this stem. And like I said, we're going to be doing um, some more layers over top of these. Mm -hmm. So these first few layers don't have to be precise. We're just getting the base layer on right now mm -hmm. and I think I also want to start getting our shadows in so I'm just using the green and the brown a little bit of that blue making it a nice nice shadow for the base here it kind of looks a little bit like actually you know what I want to wet that area it kind of looks like grass mm right here yeah I thought you were doing it on the pumpkin but you're doing under it under it <clears throat> yep and I'm gonna do it under the mouse as well but I don't want to do it quite yet just so that the mouse doesn't look like it's floating in space floating in space yeah well maybe I will do do a little him now because I will forget and we'll do something with the color and it'll go by mm -hmm. You can hear turbo snoring. <laughs> turbo snoring. Yeah, and the baby's chewing on her hairbrush, but it's all good. Yeah, we're all good here. This is the silence we were looking for. <laughs> all right. So we're also looking for um, any suggestions if you want her to paint something specific. Um, were we going to try to do this twice a week then? I'm I'm hoping to do these twice a week. So what we were thinking of doing was doing a video on Saturday mornings, 11 o'clock, with what we're doing now, and doing another one on Wednesday evenings, since maybe some people are busy on the weekends, maybe nights are better for them. <clears throat> we don't have a time nail, nailed down yet for Wednesday, but it would be Wednesday evening. So if you, and one of the things that we struggle with during the week is, um, 
what should we paint? What should we go over? So if there's something in particular you want her to paint, whether it's a picture, you know, a, you know, like I want you to paint a cardinal or something. <laughs> um, if you, <laughs> if you um, only want her to do a certain technique, like, hey, I've heard about blah, 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 but I don't know what that means or how to do it. Can you show me? Um, if you want her to use a particular paint set or, you know, oh, I, can you do something in pastels because I want to see, you know, what we can do with pastels. You know, give us suggestions. Um, makes our life a lot easier because I never know what to tell her to try to do and I'm usually wrong, so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? Did you just hear that? Okay, as you've noticed, I've just gotten both of my buckets dirty. Do you want me to... No, it's fine. This clean isn't like that one? big of a painting, so okay. I really worry about it. But I'm just okay. like, here. Don't do as I say. Do as... Don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> Whatever. I can't talk today, so... <laughs> I am so freaking well, nervous. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't done a live video in a few months. Um, I am so nervous. We've done little videos, like, while we were at the shows this summer but it was just to basically show the booth show what we had um you know just let people know where we were but we haven't done like a live painting and we haven't really even done a pre-recorded one we've like played around with new sets but not done an actual painting no nope, we haven't Okay, what I'm doing right here is just glazing, guys. That just means I'm putting a layer over top of a layer. That's what glazing means. I'm just putting another layer of paint. But it's a wet layer over a dry layer, right? It's a wet over a dry. So um, I just want to get in. And I'm not painting the entire pumpkin. I like mm -hmm. to see that other layer through. And you can switch up your colors, you can add some browns, you can add whatever colors, you know, you want to put into your pumpkin. It's your pumpkin. Mm -hmm. So, maybe you have a kid that wants to paint a pink pumpkin. Yeah. Sure. This would be such a fun project to, to do with your child or mm -hmm. grandchild. And it's so easy. Mm -hmm. See how I'm just going up these segments? It's it's really not hard and it's so much fun to do. You just have to be a little careful on the mousey so you don't So Shannon and I have had a busy summer. Yeah, <laughs> we've been at uh, <clears throat> several different shows. Um, we were, we've done uh, a couple Marion shows. We did the one in the spring. We've done the one in September. Um, the September one was huge, and every year it seems to get bigger and better, which is really awesome. I love seeing this year that. was cool. Mm -hmm. um, we've done Hungerford, which was decent. Um, I don't know if we're going to make the trek up to the to city to do those in the future. Um, we were down at the Naples Grape Fest, which was, was absolutely awesome. amazing. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing that one again next year. Yep. Um, if you happen to make it down this year, we had one tent. And next year, we are going to have two tents. Yep. Um, we just have to make sure we get another white tent. Cause, yep. Everybody's got to have a white tent. And then, um, yeah, that one was really awesome with the exception of Sunday. It was very, very windy and half the day was spent trying to just keep everything in the tent and keep the tent on the ground. So even with the weights. <laughs> um, then the weekend after we went to Cahocton, um, which was another fun event. But again, we had a Sunday that was inclement. It was uh, rainy all day. The so. people were so sweet there though. Yeah. That was it was a nice like local kind of thing you know it <clears throat> they had food vendors parade um i didn't get a chance to get out and do stuff but apparently they had like you know a petting zoo and all sorts of other stuff yeah, they had all of that fireworks on saturday well 
Um, some of it, it's it was a long trip for us to be down there um, because we had to go down and set up on Friday, and you know, same thing for Naples. We had to set up on a Friday, go back down on a Saturday, and then go back down on Sunday, and then Sunday at the end of the day when you're already tired, um, break everything down and bring it back up. And it was like what an hour and 15 minute drive so yeah it was exhausting yeah <laughs> kind of not you know in the best frame of mind to be running around checking everything out and so so as you can see here i was lifting paint up because i got a little darker than i wanted mm -hmm. and i'm losing that pinky color of the pumpkin mm. that i wanted to keep so i am going to go back through just add a little bit of that rose to the pumpkin right here. Mm. And I'm just going to now lift. And it's not a big deal. I mean, it's a pumpkin for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> but it needs to be perfect pumpkin. No, it doesn't. <laughs> ah, it does. <laughs> um, we are going to do one more show this year. Um, November 27th, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, we're going to be at the Marion Fire Hall. They're doing like a little vendor uh, Christmas thing. Um, not sure how many people are going to be there, um, but you know, it's a decent sized fire hall and um, it is small business Saturday that day. So, you know, if you are looking for local people to purchase from, local artisans, that's um, just a nice little thing to stop in for you know a couple hours and take a look around get some you know presents for people or for yourself we will have our cards Shannon makes yep. beautiful cards <clears throat> and um and I've done some Christmas ones so November 27th isn't too late yet to still you know get some uh handmade Christmas cards that are unique you know they're not just Hallmark cards um, and that's something that uh, people seem to tell us a lot at both Naples and Cohocton was that they really liked our cards because each one was unique. They're not, you know, carbon copies of each other. They're, they don't look, you know, just printed off like Hallmark cards. Um, we do this new thing with embossing too. So some of them have like really fun texture. So it's looks nice and then they also have this nice if you're tactile it has like a nice textured feel to it I'm tactile. yeah i'm very tactile so <laughs> so we're digging it yep <laughs> yeah i've been doing some st fun stuff with the embossing tools and the embossing stamps and and then i when i finish i like rub my fingers over i'm like oh this is fun like <laughs> it's a thing it's a thing it's a thing <laughs> And somebody's falling asleep. So now what I'm going to do is, you know, like pumpkins don't have regular like lines. I'm just going to go a little over them and kind of make it rough looking mm -hmm. here. Nothing on a pumpkin's uniform. Nope. So this is just... See, we didn't eat yet. Somebody fell asleep. Well, on her own. Would have been nice if I had <laughs> been freaking out over it. And the dogs are quiet too. I can't believe it. We usually Turvy is like, oh, I've been mm. thrilled as wonders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been thrilled all the dogs. I first. did not. Not to say that yes. I haven't in the yes, past. Yes, she has. She did it in the past. Yes. She not for the not. video. Not for the video. Usually when I'm trying to see it on us. Peter down our backs. Well, okay. Come at me, Peter. <laughs> Come at me, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Try and take her down. <laughs> You'll have fun. Okay, I'm going to go over this pumpkin up just a little bit with some more shadowy color. Now, remember, these paints dry lighter mm -hmm. as well. So if you put this color in these shadowy colors, um, we are not going to, although, yeah, you can see it drying right now, like where you where you had just put it down at first, mm -hmm. and it looked really dark, and you're like, oh, yeah. Um, these prima colors don't tend to shift or change colors. That's what that means. 
as much as a um, my other paints though yeah. because the, these contain white so it mm. prevents them from shifting as much I think when I drew my pumpkin he's a little off kilter but well I mean there's no perfect pumpkin so this is what you say yeah yes I've heard you say that yes are they not perfect Jenny? they are not perfect <laughs> So if your pumpkin has like a big old dent in it, that's okay. That's a good pumpkin then. You draw your pumpkin. You can draw a tall pumpkin if you want. And I want to get some more shadow under him. So I think I'm going to go in here. Yeah. He's dry. And get some more definition right under the pumpkin. A little bit darker. Who do we have on with us? Anybody? Or are we just talking to ourselves here? Uh, we had two people. Uh, we had uh, Alex Cantwell. Oh. Nick Giles. And I thought there was another person on too, but I can't remember. Uh, Di was going to be on. Oh, I do not see Diane. No Darcy? Oh, there is no Darcy, no Diane. Oh, my aching back. This is apparently not a DJ. Not a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta not make you laugh. Funny. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna give the pumpkin a break and we're gonna get on to these little mice. And I'm just gonna use the same paint that I was, um, that same muddy water that we were using for. And why would you do that? Just to keep your paint um, yeah. all looking together. Yeah, it's like all in the same family. You just keep it in the family. Yeah, keep it. Keep that in the same family here. It's not a good like, color, though. If you do too many different colors on the same piece, it starts looking a little too amateurish. Too and, yeah. I just want to have, I have a piece of paper here. I just want to see what it looks like, though. Mm -hmm. It's a little too green. That's not what I want. I think I'll add a little red to that. It's kind of a mousy color. Again, you can do your mice whatever color you want, um, <clears throat> but it is always good to do what she's doing after you mix up a color. If you're not sure what it'll look like, just swatch it out really quick and yep. see what it looks like. So I'm just going to go lightly around, and I forgot to um, erase some of the mouse. Oh, well. <laughs> just incorporate it. Yeah, so he's going to be like a light gray. She, I think of this one as a she and that one of a he. <laughs> so she's, I was going to put a bow on her head. I still could. But yeah, you could. She's going to be like a light gray. I don't know we were doing Cinderella's pumpkin. You didn't? No. Oh, well. Okay. And I'm just, I'm not even coloring the whole thing in. And you can see how this paint goes on very, very quickly. It dries on this paper very quickly. And it is very, um, mm -hmm. I wonder if that paint is from another set. But it's very oh. granulating. Very granular. Very well could be. It, um, sometimes when she paints uh, paintings during the day, She'll use like two or three different sets just because she wants like a particular color from one. And um, then when you have trays, uh, sets that come with like little tray palettes like this, she'll just mix whatever on them. And and noticed you didn't water down the mice with this one. No, it's so small that I didn't bother. They're so tiny that I didn't even bother. Kind of like when you did this time, you didn't really water it down. You just yeah. And I haven't even switched brushes. I'm still using. <laughs> well, what am I using? I'm using my eight. Yeah, it's good to have them on hand, just in case you never know when you're going to need them. A little 
too much water there, so I took a dry brush, mm -hmm. just sopping it up. So since we are getting closer to um, the winter season and the holiday season, um, if you have suggestions on what to paint and it's uh, like holiday based, that would be really awesome too. Because I think a lot of people like to watch stuff like that to get in the, the holiday mood. Um, oh yeah, and so we things, can do cards. We yeah. can do card making. Yep. So things like... Um, you know trees we did a really fun snowman last year we can do something you know different but we can do like another type of snowman we could do cardinals in the snow <laughs> it's an inside joke why i keep bringing up cardinals <laughs> she'd have me doing a cardinal a day <laughs> they're her favorite to do i don't oh, mind sure. painting cardinals Really, it's just she yeah. wants me doing them all <laughs> the time. She'll be like, oh, I'm in the mood to draw a bird. What should I do? Do a cardinal. Do a cardinal. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do a little pinky color to go inside of her ear. She does really, really nice chickadees. So if you want like a commission chickadee or... Um, you had two really, really nice bluebirds that you did this year that sold quickly. Mm -hmm. Um... Your Blue Jays, I think all your Blue Jays sold, didn't they? All my Blue Jays yep. sold. Um, you had like four four of them, I would say? Three or four? Uh, I'm not but, sure. I'm not sure how many I had, honestly. I'm going to put a little pink into her tail as well. We can do poinsettias. They're a nice uh, winter flower. And I had two poinsettias, one sold. Mm -hmm. They were beautiful as a, as a set. I loved them. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of that orange, right? Because she's got a little piece of pumpkin in her hand. Mm. She's eating pumpkin. <laughs> I didn't even see that before. <laughs> <laughs> and I really am not liking that I took away all the highlight. And I'm not sure if I can get all of that back. Oh, well. Just you know what? Yeah, I'll what show is. them how I do it with a little piece of, um, I'll get out my um, pastels. Show them how I can bring out mm. some highlight with the pastels. Yes, no? Does, okay. It's okay with you. Yeah, a little mixed media is okay. I'll show them what I mean. This little guy is so cute. <laughs> He's got his little chubby tummy. <laughs> yeah, I liked when I saw him this morning. I was like, oh, but she had a second one else that's cute. That's what you got to watch out for. <laughs> the water gets in on these ferrules right here, this mm -hmm. metal part. So you got to watch out for that because if that drops on your painting, it can ruin your painting. Like she just caught it really quick and just uh, dabbed it up really quick. If you catch it, you can do that. It's okay. Wow, got really dark out fast. Didn't it? Oh, oh my gosh. I think Daddy's going to get the lawnmower for honestly. <laughs> it's that time of year when you need the lawn mode, but whenever he's home. Well, nature said, I don't think so. I don't think so, mister. <laughs> You go back in that house and watch NCIS. No. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. yeah. Terrible's looking at me like, why do you keep waking me up? <laughs> He's doing the heavy lifting. He's the man of the house. He said, I'm going to eat, I'm going to bring the pumpkin home. You sit up there and eat it. <laughs> well, he's trying to push it. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it home. You just sit right up there and you eat that pumpkin. She made the lady curl mouse a little bigger then. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty big. <laughs> she looks like me. This, oh my this gosh. This must be a daddy pumpkin. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, Shani, where'd my tip box of tissues go? Um, um, right up here. Okay. Uh, I just need one. <laughs> Yep. Thanks, honey. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have to move things all the time because of the baby, and she's taller than she was this time last year. So I beg. 
Well, actually, last this time last year we could just stick her in her bouncy and she was good. Um, she was happy with that. And this, now it's this like, time this year it's I want to run around the house and be uh, into everything. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? I just told her she was going to have to pay for my hundred and some dollar palette that she was spinning around like crazy. Yeah, during some of our earlier nights. videos, she's got this large wheel that has all of her Daniel Smith, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, it's it's got an assortment, but it's mm -hmm. mainly Daniel Smith, yeah. yeah. And she has it on a chair that's below table level and to a one-year-old, it looks like absolute fun. <laughs> Especially because there's a cover on it. And you don't know what's underneath. You have to look the cover. And say, ah. Here it is a little tail. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> little shitty number two. Mm -hmm. Twitchish, twitchish. If you want to do detail like that, make sure you have a really, really good point on your brush. You don't let anybody uh, tell you to click the point, because... Yeah, why is that, Shanna? <laughs> Mom was painting... I don't even remember what you were painting. You were painting something about two weeks ago, and she was saying that there was one hair that came off, and it was bothering her. It was like getting into the painting really weird. One of my favorite brushes. <laughs> yeah. I used it all it, the time. It was her favorite. <clears throat> and uh, I said, I'll just clip it. She's like, yeah, I don't know. And then about five minutes later, she's like, yep, this is bothering me. I'm going to clip it. And I was like, yay. Gets a pair of scissors and goes, clip. And she's like, oh, no, I did too much. So now oh, it's no. A... Oh, no. <laughs> so then she tried painting. She's like, oh, it's ruined. <laughs> then I felt bad. <gasps> yeah. And then I forgot about it. <laughs> Until your new set came, what, yesterday? And you were like, oh, oh here it goes. Splatters. I just want to get them in, mm. and then I will pick it up off my mouse before it can set in. Mm -hmm. If you get spatters where you don't want it, just quickly get it off. And I think I'm going to take some of this green that I absolutely love. I love this mm. color. The splatters are nice because it kind of breaks up the white spots. So you don't have this glaring white spot. And it gives. Mm -hmm. liveliness to the painting mm -hmm. and to the rest of my table mm -hmm. <laughs> and the computer and my coffee and there's no cadmium in any of these paints here oh good so it will die slow again <laughs> it's fantastic you don't have to worry about <laughs> and actually i am liking the movement down here Because it's uh, very big, heavy, wet drops, so they're kind of yep. spreading out. So I'm going to just dab at Miss Mouse here. Miss Mouse. Yeah. Um, and see what I meant about the shadowing here? Mm -hmm. We did lose most, most of that. So I think I will go back in. Just do like a little bit darker. Yeah, just a little bit. <clears throat> How long part? How long have we been doing this now? I don't want to uh, bore the no people 52 that we have. Two minutes. No way. But but we started ten minutes early. Okay. So we've only only been on for about forty minutes. <clears throat> We're on average for how long we usually go. Wait till we do our two two hour video. Hey. Are we doing a two hour video? Not anytime soon. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Not that I know of. You're okay, Derby. Mommy's almost done, Derby. He's uh the older staffy that we have, <clears throat> he likes to go out to the bathroom every half hour, so. All night long as well. <laughs> All night long. Yep. No, at night it's like every, I would say it's like every two hours. But you know what? You are worth it. <laughs> so it's not going to be the same color as dyes because I am going to give it a little bit more color than the first one just mm -hmm. to make it a little bit different. 
Well, it, it feels like you've got a little bit more cartoony with the two mice. Mm -hmm. they're, they're doing more. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on, baby. So I think we're done. Pretty. Like it? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to just spit out some water. Wait a minute. Just water oh, down just here water. just to get that moving. bottom moving. Mm. He's like in a pumpkin patch. <laughs> and there's like no way that she does two pieces the same. No, just because never. of you don't well, know I the paints. Didn't want it to be the same. I never intended it to be the same. Yeah. I think that's cute. Uh, I like that. I like. This. I think it, we are it's done. It's more orangey. It looks more bold than the other one. Yeah. I think nice. that's cute. So we will wait for this to dry naturally, and then it will. Um, because that will give us more granulating effect. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll, frame it. we'll frame it and we'll be up for sale if anybody's interested in it. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I will post, um, just uh, keep an eye on Facebook, and I'll post what time we will do the Wednesday night. And if you have suggestions for uh, what to paint, especially if it's something that's uh, seasonal or holiday, that would be great. Or we can do different mediums yep. as well. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. All right. Bye. Have a good weekend.